I'm James Spann. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, June 9th. Starting off this Monday with rain and storms as the unsettled weather pattern continues. Let's go in there and take a look at the big picture. This is the water vapor satellite view around the nation early this morning. We got troughing across the central United States. You know, oftentimes in summer, a big ridge or high pressure center aloft sets up out there, and uh, that kind of keeps us uh, hot and mostly dry. But instead of the ridge, we have the trough, and accordingly, the air parcels are rising, and you can see clusters of storms scattered from North Texas into Alabama. In fact, we're starting off this day pretty wet. That was the radar this morning at 513, and uh, a lot of rain, thunder, lightning. Nothing severe. We note flash flood warnings in effect off to the west for parts of northeastern Mississippi. There's a look at the watch warning map. Flash flood watches for parts of north Mississippi, west Tennessee, much of Arkansas, and some of the adjacent states off to the west. There's the severe weather outlook for today and tonight. The standard slight risk a little west of the state from near uh, Memphis down to the Rio Grande of Texas. We've got the low end 5% severe weather possibilities today. And we'll talk about the timing of the storms and all that here in just a minute. Uh, this is tomorrow. Again, a standard slight risk. This time it's in effect for parts of North and West Alabama. It's for basically areas west of a line from near Scottsboro down to Birmingham to about uh, Butler. And then on day three, no uh, formal risk for the nation, just a couple of 5% circles well to the uh, north of here. Here's the overall rain for the next seven days. So this carries us through Monday morning of next week. The bullseye uh, below Memphis around the Mississippi Delta with four and a half inches. Amounts in our state, generally in the two and three inch range. And in the tropics, things are quiet. You know, the GFS, what, eight, nine days ago, put down a tropical storm uh, around the southern tip of Florida, of course, that's not there. That's why we often say the GFS is famous for its bogus tropical systems in the medium range. Things are very quiet, and obviously with a look like that, we're not going to have any tropical storms anytime soon. Take a look at the GFS, the global forecast system. This is valid at 1 o'clock local time this afternoon at 500 millibars. There's the troughing across the southern plain states, and down below that, the weather looks pretty wet from Texas here into the deep south. And this is not necessarily a bad thing, especially for our friends in Texas where they've had the drought. And keep in mind, yes, I know it's inconvenient getting the rain, but boy, getting some rain in June and early summer can really help mitigate the heat deeper into summer as we uh, see a good soil moisture content here. And as we often explain, when you've got a lot of soil moisture, a lot of the sun's energy has to work on evaporating that moisture instead of heating the ground, which in turn heats the air. So that tends to keep heat levels down. Uh, of course, obviously, it's wet this morning. But the showers will probably thin out by midday, and then late today, more will likely develop. This is the high-res name at 7 o'clock this evening. And again, we always tell you this. The radar is not going to look like that, but there should be scattered storms about uh, late this afternoon and tonight. This is tomorrow. There's a broad surface low north and west of the state. Uh, showers and storms uh, should be fairly active again across the deep south. This is the high res NAM at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening showing potential for some strong storms. And again, you know, we've got that slight risk for north and west Alabama. So we think tomorrow the morning could be fairly dry, but the afternoon could be pretty active with strong storms. This is Wednesday. The uh, moist air goes nowhere. And again, that looks uh, relatively wet with Showers and thunderstorms likely, and again, uh, with that shortwave support, the day could be relatively wet, and uh, by golly, we might have a hard time getting out of the 70s if this is right. Thursday, again, uh, we'll have an axis of moist air with showers and storms about, and the same thing on Friday. You know, every day, we'll deal with scattered to numerous showers and storms. The storms Thursday and Friday may be not quite as numerous, but no doubt we'll have them around. And it's not going to rain the whole time. And, of course, it's impossible to give you specific start and stop times for the rain. With a pattern like this, just be ready. It's kind of the same deal we've had for the last week or so. Now, this is Saturday as the weekend begins. And this is suggesting the trough axis begins to move east of the state. And that should mean a drier situation. Uh, this is Saturday at 1 o'clock. And, yes, there's still the chance of a storm, but... We don't think there will be quite as many, and Sunday is looking relatively dry. 
As a dryer air filters in, and that that's right, the day would be sunny with only a small chance of a shower. So if you have something planned outdoors this weekend, we can't say there's no chance of rain, but we should see a fairly decent amount of sunshine with hopefully not that many showers. And this is Monday of next week. And again, the chance of rain, if this is right, would be lo- relatively low. Highs for the weekend in the upper 80s, and we might touch 90 by Monday of next week. Let's go out there a few more days. This is... Friday, June the 20th. Ah, the bogus GFS tropical storm of the day. It's got the thing up around uh, West Palm Beach. And, of course, uh, again, there's a chance this might not happen. We'll keep an eye for trends. And June the 24th, the uh, got kind of a ridge over Texas and the southern Plains states. The western is up north. That looks pretty typical for summer. Uh, you know, partly sunny, maybe a storm in spots, but the rain not especially heavy or widespread. Temperatures off the uh, GFS Ensemble for the next 15 days. Again, the good news, we, we really don't see any excessive heat. It bumps 90 on a couple of days around the 17th and 18th, but uh, that looks pretty good. I'm not a big fan of super-duper hot weather, and most people, I don't think, are either. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News, the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.